This is the story of Archie Campbell, born November 7th, 1914, and he died August 29th, 1987. He was an American comedian, writer, and star of Hee Haw, a country-flavored network television variety show. He was also a recording artist with several hits on the RCA label in the 1960s. Campbell studied art at Mars Hills College in Mars Hill, North Carolina, after which he began a radio career at WNOX in Knoxville, after a year alongside Roy Acuff on their midday merry-go-round, he relocated to WDOD in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where he stayed until joining the United States Navy in 1941. At the end of World War II, Campbell returned to WNOX. He left that station for rival WROL, where he helped start Knoxville's first country music television show on WROL-TV. Country Playhouse that premiered in 1952 and ran until 1958. At the close of that show, he moved to Nashville to replace Rod Brassfield in the nationally syndicated Prince Albert segment of the Grand Ole Opry. Shortly after, he signed a contract with RCA Victor and one of the early singles, Trouble in the Amen Corner, reached the 1960s country music top 25 after an unsuccessful stint with the Star Day label, Campbell returned to RCA in 1966 and had three top 30 singles, The Men in My Little Girl's Life, 1966, The Dark End of the Street, 1968, and Tell It Like It Is, 1968. He was named Comedian of the Year in 1969 by the Country Music Association. One of Campbell's signature routines was to tell stories in spoonerism form, with the first letters of words and some phrases intentionally switched for comic effect. The best known of these stories was Rendersella, his retelling of the fairy tale Cinderella about the girl who slopped her dripper, or dropped her slipper. Campbell once told the Rendersella story on an episode of the game show Juvenile Jury. At the conclusion of the story, host Jack Berry said, that's one of the funniest stories Karchi Ample tells. All, this, all of Campbell's spoonerisms routines borrowed heavily from comedy routines performed by Colonel Stoopnagel at the radio show Stoopnagel and Bud in the 1930s. Colonel Stoopnagel was the stage name of F. Chase Taylor, born 1897, died in 1950. Campbell also performed a routine with various partners, generally known as, that's bad, that's good. Campbell would state a troublesome occurrence when the partner was synthesized by saying, oh, that's bad. Campbell would quickly counter, no, that's good, and then state a good result from a previous occurrence. When the partner would say, oh, that's good, Campbell would immediately counter with, no, that's bad, and tell the new result, and so on. Campbell was a charter member of the cast of Hee Haw on CBS TV from its beginning in 1969, though he also served as the head writer. His regular characterizations included Archie's Barbershop, which he performed his Spoonerism stories and his That's Bad, That's Good routine, uh, Doc Campbell with Grinnell Hutton as Nurse Goodbody, though Campbell performed a MD a certificate hanging on the wall clearly showed him being a veterinarian. Justice O'Peace, his version of the classic judge routine of Pig Meat Markham. One of his most well-known segments was the song, Tiff, you, was, you Was Gone, in which he would perform a short verse of original comedy followed by the standard chorus of Where Oh Where Are You Tonight, which would conclude with him and a singing partner offer often Gordy Cap blowing a raspberry at one another at the camera. In later years, Tap would be replaced by the episode's guest star, who was mentioned in Campbell's lyrics right before they revealed themselves. Campbell also recorded several comedy music albums, which he continued doing during his hee haw years, such as Bull Session at Bulls Creek with Junior Samples, 
released a year before Key Hall premiered. He frequently performed musical duets with singer Warren Mann. In 1984, Campbell hosted TNN's Yesteryear interview show. Campbell was an accomplished amateur golfer and built one of the earliest lighted golf courses in the United States. An avid painter, he also owned an art gallery and served on the school board in Knoxville, Tennessee, where he lived until he suffered a fatal heart attack in 1987. He is buried near the town of Powell, Tennessee. And now I'm going to perform his uh, most famous mannerisms that I mentioned earlier, Render Sella. Thank you, and thank you, Archie Campbell. May you rest in peace. Once upon a time in a foreign country, there lived a beautiful girl by the name of Render Sella. Now, Render Sella lives with her ugly other and her two sad blisters. Also in the same corn country, there lived the Grants, a Prance and Hints. And this Prance and Hints was going to have a fancy fall. So he invited people from, from Riles Amound, especially the Pitch Reaper. So Rinda Selva's ugly other and her two sad blisters went out to buy some great fancy fesses to wear to the fancy fall. But old Rendersella couldn't go. All she had to wear was some old birdie dags. Well, sir, the night of the fancy fall finally arrived and Rendersella couldn't go. So she just sat down and tried while she was sit, sitting there trying all of a sudden there appeared before her her Gary Pod mother and she touched Brenda Sella with her mat with her magic mond and there appeared before her a sig boat with Hicks white sources to take her to the Bancy Fall. But she said, Now Brenda Sella be sure and be home before midnight, or I'll turn you into a pumpkin. Well, finally, Thunder Cellar arrived at the Bancy Fall and the and the Pants and Pants met her at the door because he had been watching her behind a wooden window, and they danced, and Thunder Cellar sass down the rares and as she beats the rotom she slopped her dripper well sir the very next day the prince and hints went all over that corn country looking for the beautiful girl who had slopped her dripper they finally arrived at Rinda Selva's house and tried it on her Mugly other, and it did, and it didn't dip. Then he tried it on the two sad blisters, and it didn't dip. Then he tried it on Render Sella, and it did dip. It was exactly the sight right. So they were married and lived heavily ever after. Now the story to the Mori is this. If you're a beautiful girl and you go to a fancy fall and have a prance and hence ball in love, love with you, then don't forget to swap your dripper.